Mortgage Coach Community, what's up? Dave Savage here with Carl White. What's up, my man? Carl. Dude, every day is a good day when I get to hang out with Dave. Every day is a good day when I get to hang out with you, brother. Uh, so I, I asked you to jump on this call and do this interview because you made uh, an awesome comment to a post a couple days ago in our Facebook group. If you're listening to this and you don't know about our Facebook group, Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind, I, I'm going from memory, but the loan officer had posted, hey, what are some great consumer direct lead sources and strategies, which is a great idea. And I'm not here to say don't have consumer direct lead strategies. Yeah. But, but you went on a little bit of a rant and it was good. I mean, it was like you, you talked about, guys, there's a lot of gold in your past customer database. And then you gave some tactical advice. So let's do a minute or two on that. And then I, I, I want to close out this call, Carl, where we just give people some simple scripts to call their past customers and generate refis. Okay. So let's, let's rock it out. For we can do this. Minutes. We can do this. So, so first of all, the guy that asked the question actually is a very dear friend of mine, uh, which made me feel free to, to do the comment that I did. Cause I know he would for me, you know, if we think we're helping each other and you know, for me, like I, I hear this all the time. It's like consumer direct, consumer direct, consumer direct. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be uh, uh, asking for business. Right. I've just always thought that is a huge mistake because like we have the best business model in the world, in my opinion, where we don't have to go consumer direct, right? We can, we can, but look, it's all about leveraging. And so, so there's two kinds of ways to sell balloons. One way is to go out in my front yard and try to sell balloons, right? There's not a whole lot of people driving up and down my front in front of my house, by the way. The other way is I can go to Disney and try to sell balloons there. I'll sell more balloons. Like there's somebody, somebody real smart told me one time said, Carl, find a parade and then find a cool way to get in front of that parade. And so here's the thing. So here you have these people don't call loan officers to buy houses. They call real estate agents or, or financial planners for, for that thing or divorce attorneys for when, it, you know, when that's necessary. And so when we can tap into somebody else's list, somebody else's efforts in a cool way, when we can tap into that, they bring the, the, the buyers to us. So one contact, when we go consumer direct, when I get that one deal, I'm, I get it. We might get some referrals from, but, but when that deal closes, I got to go find another one and then another one and then another one. Whereas with the referral partners, we can use that leverage. They do all the hard work for us. We just be nice to people right? And, and they'll refer to us and we can leverage in with their list. And it's, it's so much more scalable that way rather than going consumer direct. That's, that's all. So it's a, yeah, well, and I, I thought it was good leadership. And, and here's the deal guys, Carl and I both believe that you should be using Facebook intentionally. Uh, we both believe that you should be creating content that the people that follow you on Facebook, you know, you always want to grow the people that are following you and paying attention to you. And then you want to make sure that you're giving them value. They're getting to know you. So you're building a personal brand. And, and I, I'm a big advocate right now, like what Denise Donahue is doing. And I'll put a link down below to one of her interviews where she's going out and creating content on social media for first time home buyers. God, I don't know why every loan officer in America is not like going after first time home buyers, getting them into buying, like, you know, whether they follow you on Facebook or whether they're in line with you at a grocery store, like be an advocate to get buyers into the market. Um, but this call is not about that. This call is about, there's a refi wave going on. You know, there's refi opportunities. Carl, you went on to just talk about how much you are killing it. I want you to share how much you're killing it. And then I want to ask you like for everybody on this call that has a database and I don't care if you're brand new in the business, you have a database. You have yeah. people that you would invite to your wedding. And if you've been doing this, business for any length of time, you have people that you closed the loan for that gave you a five-star review. And so everybody either has their wedding list or their five-star review list. You have people to call. I want to close with, what would, you, what would you say if you were to email them and call them? But why don't you start with, how are you doing right now? And then let's close with that. All right. And one thing I just want to add, like sometimes I think when people are working on all these things, like they go, hey, let me go do this, let me go do that, let me go do this. That's, that's because 
you're, you're like really smart people, highly intelligent people do that, but we have to learn how to channel our focus in smaller areas, which is not our natural tendency, Dave. You know, it's just, I know your brain, I, I just can't even imagine. I'm sure it's just firing all over the place, right? But you have the discipline to focus it. And one thing we have to be careful, we don't get so busy building the farm that we forget to milk the cows. And that's where the money is, is milking the cows. And building the farm, it's fun, it's sexy, and hey, I'm doing this and doing that and this and that and this and that and this and that. Don't forget to milk the cow. And you milk the cow first thing in the morning, by the way. So, oh, by, by the way, win by noon. You know, my friend Todd Bookspan, you know, has the, the day planner win by noon, and I love that metaphor. And now we got to throw the cow in. We got to we got to milk the cow in the morning and we got to win by now. Got to milk the Carl, cow because that's where the money like is, you know? I like that. We get out there busy mending the fence. If you don't milk the cow, they, they, go, they go dry. So, so I get it. All the cool stuff and, hey, I saw Dave's doing this and Susan's doing that and Bob's doing this. Man, just focus on one thing and get that thing done. So, so for me, uh, so, uh, so, so, my, so I'm, I'm a branch manager. I think everybody knows that. And uh, uh, so on my team, which is a, a pretty good sized team, just in all fairness. Uh, last month we closed uh, for the month of what, August, uh, my, uh, the, my team uh, closed uh, 511 loans uh, for the month, uh, which was a record, which was a record. So, uh, um, uh, and this month uh, I checked and we're at, I think it was like 600, I don't have the exact number, I don't remember, it was like 610 or something like that uh, submissions. Uh, for the month of September. So it looks like September is going to be, uh, uh, going to be, but I just want to just give credit where credit's due, man. It's a team and it's certainly, it's not, you know, Carl, it's, it's, it's the team doing it and the leveraging, uh, doing it where I leverage their talents and they leverage my talents, you know, and that's, that's how it works. But anyway, so we're doing just a handful of things that make this work really well. Number one, we go to Disney to get to sell our balloons. So we do contact uh, referral partners Real estate, whether the real estate agents, uh, attorneys, financial planners, insurance agents, title company, by the one, title company is our number one source of referrals. They don't refer us deals. They refer us to agents who just went through a bad closing. So don't, don't, don't ignore those title agents. They're a huge source. But anyway, so we call on referral partners. And just, if I may rant for just a little bit here, you know, I hear people talk about, well, I don't want to chase realtors. I want to beg for business. I had somebody call me up while I was going to a little strategy call with somebody, which is one of my favorite things to do. And he said, Carl, I just don't want to beg for business. I said, dude, what does that look like? Tell me what begging for business look like. And he says, you know, you, you ask for business, they don't send any, and you ask again. I said, brother, where I come from, we call that salesmanship, right? Begging is being on my hands and knees and crying, like pleading for my life or my children's life. That's begging, right? Asking for business is not begging. That's salesmanship. And, uh, and, and the same, I don't want to chase real, I've never seen a loan officer running down the hall chasing an agent, agents going, wait, stay, go. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. And so I think we have to clarify what is salesmanship and what is begging and chasing, which I personally have never seen happen. Anyway, so number one, we call our referral partners. Number two, we do do these Facebook ads. We do them a little different though, is we run Facebook ads targeting um, what I'm going to say qualified agents. So it's, it's real estate agents that are closing eight buyer sides or more in the last 12 months, which we can get that, for, uh, that information off of MLS. And we get that list of qualified agents and we run Facebook ads only to those qualified agents. Now, just being honest, Dave, we don't get a ton of phone calls from those, but what does happen is that when we go to open houses, when we go to the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the realtor meetings, when we, when we go to offices, when we do call on people, we can't make a cold call because you become this like, like celebrity in your own little neighborhood. You know, it's like, uh, like the Kardashian thing, I guess, or something like that, where they're seeing you on their news, on their news feed of Facebook all the time. And you're, you're no longer a stranger. You're that you're, it's like if Jimmy Fallon calls, there is no such thing as a cold call for a guy like Jimmy. You can become the Jimmy Fallon in your, in your, in your area. So we run Facebook ads and we do run Facebook ads to our past database too. Uh, if we get, if we have time, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, number three, we call every time we have a deal, we have a borrower, co-borrower, listing agent, buying agent, uh, seller, and a title company. We have those six people. And I mean, people know to do this. They're just not doing it. We call them and ask for more business. So when we're, when we, when we call them up and update on the file, we ask them, can we count on them? 
for, for the next person they talk to. And it's just this, you know, calling our past database. We don't just call them when refis are down. We call them all the time, right? That's just an on, we call them four times a year, just as an ongoing basis. Uh, we, we call the people that we, how many loan officers have gone out and pre-approved somebody and then they get so busy pre-approving the next person, they forget to contact the last one they pre-approved last week. And then three months later, they see on Facebook, they, they, a moving truck where they moved. It's because we just didn't simply call our pat, our, our, the people that we pre-approved. It's, it's really, it's these simple things that for me, I go, I'm going to dominate this part of my business first. And then once I dominate that, then I'll start doing other strategies like going uh, consumer direct. I, I told a story and I think I did it in that post where a dear friend of mine, uh, uh, one, of, one, of, one, of the, one of the members in our little group that we do, uh, Jen Conley, she's had months where she gets between 20 and her best months with 31% market share for her county, for her county. Brother, that's, that's unheard of. And, and it's just by following these very simple things. So instead of, instead of trying to go after a bunch of different things, dig for the gold where you know it already is. Even though it's fun and sexy to go somewhere else, dig where you already are. So anyway. So, so I, I love everything you said. I'm, I'm actually going to be with Jeremy Forcier tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a, I don't know, a training together with Jeremy for his region in Santa awesome Rosa. Guy. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. And, you know, we're going to be talking about, you know, what should we be doing with realtors right now? But we're also going to be talking about how do we ride this refi wave. And I interview a lot of loan officers around what are you doing? What are your scripts for calling your past customers in a market like today? And, you know, the mortgage coach script is, or the mortgage coach playbook is call them, do a lot of things. You can do a text video, you can do a Facebook video, you can do a phone call. Make sure you're giving them a total cost analysis so that you're effectively showing them not only the, the monthly savings of the refi, but you're showing them the savings over five years. And you're showing them that, hey, if you prepaid that savings, look at, you know, blow it up. Like, look at how much faster you could pay off your home. Or look at how much faster you could buy that second home or that move up home. So those are our scripts. What is, what is the Carl White script? Like, what does it sound like when someone on your team calls a past client, you know, and it's September. Um, so let's just think of September, October of 2019. What do those phone calls sound like? And if there is an email that you're sending, what do, you know, paraphrase what those emails look like? Sure. How, so how are you all, serving your database? So first of all, if you're not calling your past database, you just hate money. I'm just telling you, because that is, there is no easier source to get loans from than your past database. You should be closing one loan per 100 people in your past database per month. So if you have, say, 500 people in your past database, you should be closing a minimum of five loans per month just from them, not including the other stuff you're doing, just from them. On the phone calls, it's a real simple thing. It's just, and if you haven't called them for a while, it's okay. They don't know that you're supposed to been calling three, four times a year. They don't know that. So if it's been five, six, seven years, they haven't been sitting by the phone going, he don't call, he don't write, and it hurts, right? They, <laughs> they don't, but that's what goes through our mind. I'm gonna call them up and they're gonna think it's weird. Like they haven't been thinking about you and it's okay, right? So we just call them up, it's been a while, same script. It's just reintroduce yourself. Hey, hey, Dave, uh, this is Carl White over at carlsmortgagecompany.com. Uh, I did your uh, loan last time and I'll just call them up, see how, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Right? And they'll give some short little answer say, hey, the purpose of my call, because you go, well, why would I call? To thank them. The purpose of my call is just say thank you so much. I really appreciate helping you in the past. I just wanted to see how things were going. Just wanted to tell you thank you and let you know if you ever have any real estate or mortgage questions, uh, reach out and give me a call. The number is 555-1212. Uh, appreciate your time today. Hey, Dave, can I ask you one more favor real quick, please? Sure. And they always say that. And I say, hey, man, can I count on you to give me a call? I call it my three by three. Can I count on you to give me a call when a family, fr when a family friend or coworker is looking to buy, sell, or refinance? Can I count on you to give me a call, brother? And don't water that down. The, can I count on you? When we started adding in, we saw a huge bump. And that's it, Dave. We make that exact same phone call four times a year. That's exactly what we do. So that's the four times a year. Now, what, what about like right now, rates are low. We text and them. a lot of people could refi. We text and, them. 
Okay, so you're texting people right yeah. now. Check it you're out. Texting. That's the Carl White move right now. So, so you're texting. Once it sounds, I can do it quicker. Good. I can do it quicker, and somebody else in the office can do it for me. And so the uh, the text we're sending out right now, and of course, anything I say always runs through your compliance department. Of course, you know, but uh, ours uh, our text is, uh, and I'm just paraphrasing here, but it's short. It's real short. It's rates just dropped this week. We should look to see if refinancing makes sense. Carl White, um, it, you know, put my name, and that's it. So, uh, or actually, I, I missed part. Rates just dropped this week, may not last. There's a scarcity. I helped you with your mortgage in the past. This is not a bulk message. Got time to chat, question mark. Carl White. Ooh. And that's what we send out. I'm going to caution you. Do not send that out to your entire database at one time. It'll light up the, it'll light up the phones. I'm just telling you. The biggest mistake people make is they send that out to like 100 at a time. Don't do that. Pick smaller chunks. Send it out to maybe 20 at a time. See how effective it is. And then, you know, go, go from there. Yeah. And, 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 and I've heard so many different variations. I love that. So, guys, you know what Carl's doing now? You know, calling quarterly, texting when it makes sense. Um, you know, I've interviewed countless leaders, countless top producers. They're in the mortgage coach um, um, community. Uh, also, you know, throw darts. When you know it makes sense for someone, create a TCA, send them that text. And here I reviewed your mortgage and we could save you this much per month and we could save you this much over five years. You have if, time if, to talk. if you're not, if you're not sending out your TCA, at least, I, I don't even want to say how many times, how many times do you recommend they send it out per year, Dave? Well, you know, with many CRMs, I think you guys use Jungo. You could be sending it out monthly. We recommend at least quarterly yeah. where you're, you're automating that and you're sending it out so that you're, you're managing someone's mortgage. You know, you're telling them at the point of sale, I'm going to help you make a great decision that helps you build wealth with real estate faster. And then you say, and then I'm going to coach you to make sure you always have the right mortgage to achieve your goals. And then the total cost analysis is how you, you live that. You know, you make the call, you send out a report card, this is how your loan compares to the market. And, and guys, even when it doesn't make sense to refi, like you got a great loan. That's a beautiful touch point because you're showing them that you got a great loan. You're in good shape. And they'll refer you to their friends. Yeah. Who else do you know that wants me to send them a mortgage coach report and manage their mortgage? Half, half of, so when I say we get five closings per 500 people in our database, about half the time it's not them, it's their friends and their family and their coworkers, Right. right? And, and, and I, can tell you, I love the TC, the total cost analysis thing, Dave, because there's, there, there's two things I found I can always email somebody something about and they're, and they're, they're, they're open and, and want the information. Number one, I'm talking about their money. Number two, I'm talking about their house. You talk about those two things, which the TCA package that up in one piece of paper. If you're not sending that out at least, at least quarterly, uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just the biggest no-brainer ever. So it's very, very helpful. Appreciate it, Carl. So Carl, let's wrap this up. So folks, if you are not following us in Facebook, get on it. If you are not subscribing to the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel, subscribe. Carl, or anybody that wants to hook up with you, um, follow you, what's the best way to you know, learn more about what you do and follow you? And, and I, I, man, if, if I can do a shameless plug here, uh, man, I'd say the best way is let's get on the horn and look to see what you're doing and look to see if there's some small tweaks. Most of the time it's not revamping everything. It's these little small tweaks that make a massive difference. And, I, and we'll openly share our scripts and, and emails and texts and Facebook ads. Uh, probably the best way is let's just get on the horn and go over a couple things, uh, which would be uh, loanofficerstrategycall.com, loanofficerstrategycall.com. Let's get on the phone and talk about some strategies. Man, I love sharing ideas back and forth. It's not a sales call, by the way. Yeah, so link down below um, to that link where you can schedule a meeting with Carl. Carl, I appreciate you, brother. Hey, Dave, one more thing. So I'm going to get this and send this out to my group, of course. What's the best way to reach out to you? So go to mortgagecoach.com and request a demo. And if you, you tell me that you're part of Carl's crew, I'll get you guys some type of special offer. Email me, dave at mortgagecoach.com. So mortgagetalk.com, dave at mortgagecoach.com. Thank you, Carl. I appreciate you, my brother. Hey, we hope we delivered value for you guys today. Have a great day. And Carl, thanks for the time, brother.